Hey guys, and welcome back to South Park, the Stick of Truth. When we last left off, well, we completed the uh, main quest up until this point, which was attacking the school. Yes, yes. Of course it was. That's my theory. Came for the tacos, huh? Well, that's understandable. Tacos are pretty damn good, so uh, who can blame them? Now, apparently we have been rallied, if I remember correctly. Yes, forging alliances. We also have big... Yeah, we did this in the last one, didn't we? So the only thing we have left to do is to head over to uh, Canada. So, let's go do that. Give me them coins. I want all of the money. Hey, officer. See you later. Now, what have we got up here? Oh, there is something up there, but we don't really care about it. Let's just continue collecting all of the things. Ah, we also got our um, Hattori Hanzo sword. Which is pretty amazing. It was a quantum leap in power um, above what we had before, which is fantastic. Now, I probably should quick travel to uh, our next destination, but if we do this, we get to pick up stuff along the way. We still don't have the girl's restroom key. I must inquire about that. We should hang out. Yeah, no. I have zombies to slay. And a Clyde to kick in the dick, if I remember. Yes, Clyde's back in the scene, isn't he? Yes, he has uh, constructed some kind of epic uh, army uh, in his absence. Oh, zombies. Oh, hey, guys. I have a new sword. Well, not exactly. Whoop. Sorry, buddy. Uh, a new sword for you to taste. Oh, yeah, we've got the gnome dust as well, so we can shrink down. That's kind of cool. Oh, one thing I actually want to try. See if we can get all of our other buddies back now. Yes, 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 right. Well, let's make short work of these guys. Oh, one hit KO. That's what we're talking about. Jimmy, you're weak and useless. With no fear. Douchebag is here. Supreme victory indeed. Ah, oh, we're almost level 15, and uh, I'm pretty sure level 15 is the level cap for this game. Um, which, you know, eh, seems like we got there a little bit quickly, but uh, never mind. I prefer to max out my character than not. Uh, ooh, oh yeah, that's we don't need to go there yet. Hang on, have we been there? Why are they there? Yep, yeah, we don't need to go there anyway. <clears throat> so, if memory serves, this is Kyle's house. No, we're in the wrong AO. Okay. Let's get out of here. Well, that means there's more loot to be had. Can we smash these pots? Uh, there we go. We can. But they do not yield any useful goodies, which uh, is not very good. So, that sucks. Oh, what? These aren't respawning. That's lame. Hey, pal, you see any zombies around here? I'm here for the zombies. Oh. Well, I guess we are... This is Stan's house, isn't it? Yeah. Makes sense. You know. Oh, we need to go to Carl's house. Oh, what's here? <laughs> Let's get started. Humans and elves of Zaron, a great evil has descended upon us. After researching last night, I believe we are facing a threat to our entire world. Uh -oh. Clyde's Fortress of Darkness is over four stories tall. So far, he has recruited at least 50 warriors to be on his team, and he is. <laughs> you have something to say, wizard? Uh, nothing. Just think <laughs> it's kind of funny how drow elves in the Middle Ages can use PowerPoint. <laughs> you guys, this is serious! Clyde is attempting to raise an army of darkness. I believe he is messing with something he cannot control. He has recruited many of our friends, and so our only hope is for our two factions to join forces. Fuck that. He just got <laughs> fucking elves. You got a better idea, wizard fat ass? After what you elves did us at the Battle of Wormsley Woods, 
You think we'll ever trust you? Yeah, you, you tell it, Butter. That, that was Jimmy's fault, and he apologized. Oh, oh, we're apologizing now. How about we apologize for breaking the rule about using arcane fire magic? <laughs> yeah. Hey, that was the human's rule, not ours. Join forces, my paladin ass. Only good elf is a dead elf. What Amen, you, brother. Suck my elven dick, Butter. <laughs> Enough! Whether we are human or elf isn't going to matter one bit. All of zombies are like German man. zombies. We saw what that green stuff does. We better figure out a way to stop Clyde or there won't be a world to fight in. Even if we join forces, we don't have enough warriors. So we recruit more factions to join us. The pirates, the Federation, and the girls. The oh, girls? shit. Well, the girls are not going to fucking play with us. Yeah, dude, we can't convince girls to do this. No, but maybe the new kid can. The new kid has a power we have yet to understand. He makes friends on Facebook faster than any we have seen. <laughs> he is really good at getting Facebook friends. I'll give him this. Find a way to get the girls to side with us, Commander Douchebag. I'll deal with the other factions. The rest of you, return to your stations and prepare for war. Huzzah! Alrighty. <laughs> I like the way they put the chairs away after. Nice. Hey, hey, buddy unlocked. Ooh, and Cartman. Holy shit. Ooh, hello. Alright, well, two new friends. You're a fucking traitor, douchebag. This may be an alliance, but it's an uneasy alliance. You're gay. Uh, thanks, bro. Uh, oh, Warriors of Zark. Yeah, we know this. 71 friends. Holy shit. Um, there was something I was going to do. Abilities. We didn't get a perk, did we? We need 14 more friends. Christ. Um... Okay. Fair dues. Right, let's have a little look here. Talk to Annie. All right. elves craft the finest shit in the land. Well, you do not craft Hattori Hanzo blades, do you? No, you do not. Your stuff is garbage, mate. Absolute garbage. Although, we've got like 300 damn bucks. Holy hell. Get another one of them, just in case. We're full up of these. Mana potions. Eh. We never use magic. Like, I don't... I don't really see where magic fits in, because... Maybe for a different class, but we just don't need it. I guess this means we're friends for now, but I still don't like you, new kid. Yeah, I don't like you well either. Well, insight says your future is cloudy. Oh, wait, that's bird crap. Ah. I see. Don't talk to me, talk to Cal. He's your BFF, remember? Good point. You need mass services, Commander Douchebag? No, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Perhaps you would like the services of a level 10 bar. Level it 10? Was a fair maiden from Stoneberry Hollow. You need some new material, Jimmy. Need my help with anything? Yeah, maybe, maybe. We're all in this together now. If you need me to fight next to you, I will. If you just need a human shield, there's always Cartman. Mm-hmm. All right. Ooh. Nope. So, do we have anything hidden around here? Can't see much. Keep out. Can't go in there, sadly. That would have been rather nice. Okay, let's get out of here. Actually, before we get out of here, let's check out our new buddies. Uh, okay, maybe we actually yeah, have to go outside before we can do that. Back into the field of battle. Jimmy's actually not too bad. He's better than I thought he would be. You know. Uh, let's have a look. Here we go. Kyle. Kyle's the king of the elves, bravely leading them against tyranny, ignorance, and Cartman. Kyle's in Kyle employs nature magic as well as the ability to call his elven allies for a temporary assistance. That sounds interesting. Rally. Rallies the party for combat. Calls forth a spirit from the frozen north to att attack his enemies. Cool, cool. Summons fierce winds to blow debris into the foe's eyes. Okay. Rain of arrow. Blacken the skies of arrow. Of the mighty elven king. That sounds good. Right, fat ass. Cartman is the grand wizard of the kingdom of Cooper Keep and a master of the arcane. Uh, and the prof profane. Mm -hmm. Cartman wields tremendous magical power. His ass and mouth are both capable of devastating spells. Magic missile. Cartman throws a powerful magic missile at its target. Flame strike. Sprays the first two foes in a row with fire. Targets start burning if done perf perfectly. Okay. <clears throat> Burning cloud. Cartman ignites his flatulence with explosive results. Curse. 
Uh, activates his V. Has V chip. Nice. <clears throat> Nice. Of course, he can actually control his V-chip now, which originally was there to stop him from swearing. Mm -hmm. That was a fantastic episode, actually. Uh, and curses up a storm of electricity against a single tug. You know, yeah, I like the idea of having fat ass with me. Keep up, bruh. Uh, should probably check what our, you know, actual quest is. Uh, talk to Annie at the City Hall about recruiting the girls. Okay, to City Hall is how do we... Ah, look at this. How do we get here? Shrink down. Gnome dust. All right, let's go. All right, bruh. Been discovered. You must teach me to see as you do, human. Uh, yeah, maybe later. All right. That was rather painless, actually. So we have another friend though. So we need just so what was that? It's gotta be like a million friends. Twelve more. Holy crap. There's gotta be way more friends in this game than I uh, originally realized, I suppose. But you know, that's okay. Uh, also, I know some of them are missable, which kind of blows serious ass chunks, cause um We've definitely missed some. Hey there, pal. I need your twigs. Or pile of splinters. Uh-huh. You know, do we even need to collect junk anymore? We have so much money. What happened in here? Oh, yes, of course. The, uh... Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I remember. That was chaotic. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Come yeah, up, Gnome Dust. Uh, does he snort that? Oh, okay. Does he snort that shit? Fire damage increases by 20%. That's actually really nice, but... Oh, Stoly... Ah... Where was that to? Which one's Stoli's house? Um, Jimmy? Who's Craig? Kevin Stoli. Right, yeah, yeah, he was the nerd. Alright. So, second to last house before the um, teal coloured one. Gotcha! Alright, I didn't even realise we needed uh, a key, but here we are. Kelly Gardner, you're not going to talk to me? Well, how about fuck you then, bitch? Let's go. Sorry, who's you playing with that, my friend? No shits were given on this day. I have a Notori Hanzo sword. What do you have? Nothing. Just a pile of uh, destroyed snowman for your troubles. Here we go. This is the one. This is... Destroy this. And this. And this. And that. Nope. Come on. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Ah. So what treasures lie beyond this locked portal? Mm-hmm. I guess we're about to find out. Uh oh. Yeah, he snorts that shit. Okay, I totally missed that. Out the way, fat ass. Right, so... Which... Ah, hello. So what mysteries lie within? Federation badge. Max PP increases by three. Ah, eh, mm. Not that great. You know... The max PP is not super important because, um, you know, we generate so much of it now. It doesn't really matter. Microchip? Okay. Doesn't actually look like there's a huge amount in here, to be honest. I suppose, apart from that Federation badge, which, 
Yeah, I mean, I guess it's not bad, I suppose. It's acceptable. Still, there's another room plundered. Um, new message from Cartman. Cartman, you're standing right here, bruh. You could have just, you know, spoke to me. Uh, I'm sitting on the toilet taking a huge smelly dump because I'm a big dumb fat ass. Oh man, he got fraped. Click a better password for your account, fat ass. Fuck you guys, seriously. Oh no, 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 Cartman. Don't be like that, you big dickhead. I think you deserve it, my friend. <laughs> you gotta love Terence and Philip. Yeah, how come they never made a movie of Terence and Philip? It's just an entire South Park film. Because it seems like the sort of thing they would have done, you know. Because <clears throat> they were popular characters. Although, although, okay. So, even with my sense of humour, which is not for everyone, I'll admit it, but I fucking love it. Um, I don't think I could sit through, like, a whole film of those two just fighting on each other. Or maybe I could. I don't know. I don't know. There is a Pokemon there. How do we get at the... Hmm. How do we get at you, my friend? Ah, hello. That was sly. That was sly. Uh, there we are. Nice. Happy with. Yeah, okay. Only really need to see that once. But no, that, okay, sly. This is where the fifth graders gave Butters that brutal snuggy. Brutal snu stuggy. Snuggy? Stuggy? Oh. I missed that. I wasn't really listening, to be honest. Um, now, where are we supposed to be going again? Yes, that's right. We are supposed to be here. <clears throat> yeah. Community centre. I'm sure it's a community center. The PTA will call on you should we need you again. All right, buddy. Can we sell stuff to you? We can. All right, well, so we shall. Ooh, yeah, I want to hold on. Nah, get rid of them. We can always get more, I suppose. Yeah, that's a little bit more money. Weapons. Batarang. Weightlifting patch. Eh, rubbish. I mean, I suppose we could get them for achievements and whatnot, but eh. Not really needed. Let's go. Where was she then? I'm sure it said she was in the community center. Ah, City Hall. My bad, my bad. Okay. Don't mind me. I've just uh, come down with a severe case of the dumbs. Give me those cents. Mine. My cents. God damn it. I guess we lost those to the fourth dimension. Twenty cents is twenty cents, yo. That's all I'm saying. I saw Butters get the worst titty twister here once. Uh huh. I'm just saying, I'd rather have twenty cents than not have it, even though I couldn't do anything with it. Uh, City Hall. We are in City Hall, right? This is City Hall. Unless she's outside. Let's see what the mayor wants. I don't want to hear about your problems until you're 18, kid. <laughs> I'll remember that. Ah, there she is. What is this? The boys want us to play with them? Yeah. I do owe you one. I can take you to the girls, but I don't think they'll be very willing to play with boys. Do you wish to speak to the girls now? Um, I can be very persuasive. Sunshine sparkles, eh? Ooh, this is intimidating. The 412th meeting of the girls 
Sparkles is hereby called to order. Sparkle, sparkle. Sunshine! Sunshine, sparkle. Millie Larson has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, I move that we vote immediately on the urgent matter involving Monica Ryland. Yes! Yeah, yeah, right away! Right 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 Excuse me, I'm sorry, but I have an urgent matter that I believe needs to be addressed first. The chair acknowledges Annie. <laughs> Sunshine, sparkle. Annie Knits has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, a messenger comes with a request from the boys. Yeah! yeah. Ew. 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 Yeah. <laughs> what request do the boys ask of us? He doesn't really talk. Well, that's awkward. That's hot. Oh. The boys are playing some new role-playing game, and the new kid here wants us to join his team. What? We don't have time for that. Something very big happened, and we must do something. Go I know. On. I thought maybe he could help. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I glitter Annie's idea. Sunshine Sparkle, a motion has been glittered to have the new kid help with Monica Ryland. All right, new kid, look. There are terrible rumors going around town that our good friend Allie Nelson was spotted at the abortion clinic. Oh, I've how? I've never been to the abortion clinic. I'm not a whore. <laughs> sure, but we think the girl spreading the rumors about Allie is Monica Ryland. <laughs> and then she has the gall to act all nice to me. We have to know for sure if Monica Ryland is a two-faced bitch or not. So, we're going to send Monica oh, a Facebook man. page with your picture. Then tell her that you're Bebe's boyfriend from Lakewood. And you want to meet her and ask her what the best thing to get Bebe for her birthday would be. And see if Monica tries to hit on you at all. Because that way, we can see if Monica is a manipulative bitch. Right. Do this task for us, and the girls will consider your request. Sparkle! Sunshine! All righty then. Um, ha. Huh. Some trivial girl bullshit then. You'll okay. You'll find Monica waiting for you at the park. All you have to do is pretend to be Bebe's long-distance boyfriend. When the job is done, come see me. Okay. Be on guard, douchebag. For the plots of girls have ends that no man can foresee. Yep, yep. You have no idea how right you are. New message from Cartman. Douchebag, make sure you hose any cooties off before you return to the Cooper Keep. Uh, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, to be young and stupid again. So, we have to pose as Bebe's boyfriend. That we can do. Um, meet up with Kyle in his backyard. Make a plan for getting... Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Make Monica think you're Bebe's boyfriend to prove that she's the two-faced bitch that tweeted about Annie being spotted. Okay. <sighs> Meet Monica at the kids' park. Gotcha. Come on, fat ass. Let's ride. Ooh, zombies. Zombies. Nazi zombies. Let's go. Let's go. What's wrong with your nose? Shut up. I am ridding this... Quiet little mountain town, the zombie scourge. How the hell did we get here? Ah, yes, 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 yes. Damn it, out of range. Out of range. No, come back, zombie bastard. Look, dick. There we go. I think we stunned him? Question mark? Not sure. <clears throat> oh, hell yes. Friends of yours? Oh, brutal. Right, fat ass. What have you got? My magic missile. Yes. <laughs> no way. Uh, <laughs> that's a magic missile. Right. Not cool. Burning cloud. Uh, I've got to see it. <laughs> Look at the symbol. What are you doing? What are we doing? Mash W. That I can do. Oh, that's powerful. Not as powerful as me with my sword of justice, but powerful. Kick ass. <laughs> Magic missile. What? Oh, Cartman. You're such a. You're the real douchebag here, Cartman. Oh, what? That was both of them. I am disappointed. All right, well, let's get out of here. Forward on to dawn, Cartman. Uh, we need to go this way. Text me sometime. Uh, I'll think about it. How do we get up there? I think we've already spoken to him. Haha, -ha, fuck your packages. Oh, mine. You know, why are we even still collecting money? Is that it? Well... Yeah, I assume there's level 15 gear to buy. Or do you have to find the level 15 gear? Fat ass, I'm hitting you for two reasons. Because A, you're in my way. And B, you're funny. 
Or should I say, it's funny. And I enjoy it greatly. So, the best way to go to the kit... Oh, of course, we should just... You know what, it's fine. We can cut through this way. Now, I know we can quick travel. But I just like wandering around. I like looking for zombies. Because uh, zombies are fun to fight. And they speak in a funny, strange, forgotten tongue. It's a shame you can't do anything with the uh, cars driving by. Like shoot arrows at them. Maybe you can. That would be entertaining. There definitely doesn't ever seem to be anything in these uh, post boxes. Which is unfortunate. Right, let's go. To the park, badass. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about it. I will kill if needed. Ah, the girls, yes. I assume maybe something to do with this quest? To get the girls' bathroom key? Kind of makes sense, I suppose. Yes, fat ass, it's still fun to hit you. I gave butter to sweet swirly one time in that bathroom. Mm -hmm. Kind of creeping me out, dude. You're a bit of an arsehole, Eric. Oh, hi. You must be Mike. Mm-hmm. So, you want to talk about Bebe, huh? Well, look, Bebe's my friend. I think she's really great. I, I don't know if she's the end-all, be-all of girls. I mean, she's a little two-faced, if you ask me. But, hey, I've read a lot of your Facebook profile, and I think you're a really interesting boy. Aha! Uh -huh. We knew it! You two-faced manipulative whore! What the heck? Thank God we sent the new kid to spy on you, huh, girls? <laughs> yeah! Now we know you're a two-faced bitch! What do you mean? You guys are my best friends! Then why are you hitting on my Facebook boyfriend? <laughs> we brought someone else who might be interested. Monica, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, Jake. Have fun, you two-faced gang. Guys, wait! Please, come back! <laughs> What's the big idea trying to fuck my girlfriend? Wait. Nothing to say, huh? What? Well, maybe you'll understand this. Oh, bring it on. Bring it on. Battle station! Don't even worry about it, Carl. Kyle? Cartman? Oh, I see. What's this? No armor. You have uh, come unprepared. That will be your undoing. Man, you're a pussy. That was pathetic. You know, finish him off. Magic missile. Boom, baby. Excellent. Dude, you sucked. That, I mean, that was pathetic. That wasn't even pathetic. Uh -huh. That was just pathetic, man. That was sad. Uh. Alright. Well. Mm -hmm. Now the friend. Hey, I'm sorry that Jake flipped out like that. But I'd still love to be friends. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Just don't, um, <clears throat> you know, ever message me again. Thank you. Um, yeah, Jake was pathetic. I'm uh, I'm glad that you two are over because um, hmm, reasons. Uh, right now, let's see what we have to do next. Ah, what was that time? Seriously. Um, return to Anne at City Hall and tell her what happened with Monica. Really, we can't just do it over Facebook like normal humans. What's with all this face? Oh yes, zombies. Have at it. Dude, seriously, I think we've fought enough guys already. Uh, we have not fought enough guys, Cartman. That is loser talk. Although I kind of expect that from you, I suppose. Alright, fat ass. Flame on. Burning cloud. <laughs> what? What? Have to do better than that. You serious? Alright, Cartman, I'll show you how it's done. Like that, buddy. Like that. And God. Yes. You have too much of an ego, my friend. Too much. Right. Now I believe we're max level. Yes, we are. Wonderbar. Um. Oh, nice. That's interesting. You can't actually get everything, which is a little bit of a shame. Um. Nah. Defends all foes, causing attack down. And defense down. Eh, I guess. Take another action if Bull Rush knocks out your target. Sure. Sure. Alright, well, 
I'm surprised we didn't actually get a um, an achievement for getting max level. Get the fuck out of here, woman, honestly. You see a boy running around hey, with a flaming sword? Kid. You don't ask questions? Did we talk to this lady? Hey, how was your we weekend? Did. That's so great. Okay, later. Later. Uh, City Hall. City Hall. Wow, it's a good click away. I suppose we don't need to fight any zombies or anything anymore. We can just go point A to point B, but... Hmm. I suppose we get loots. We don't really need anything, though. Alright. Well. I suppose to that end, there's no point in running around looking for stuff. Ooh. Ooh, I wonder. Nope. Nope. An interesting idea, but uh, sadly no dice. Alright. Alright. The girls want to thank you for your help. We can go see them again whenever you're ready. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Alright then, let's go. You know the drill. Mm-hmm. Sometimes a key is needed, indeed. New kid, we want to thank you for helping us determine whether or not Monica was a two-faced bitch. She <laughs> really made us mad, but it turns out she couldn't have been the one spreading rumors about Allie Nelson going to the abortion clinic. What? Yeah, so we made up. You guys are the best. You see, okay. the thing is, Heidi Turner was supposed to put on the Facebook page that you were Baby's boyfriend, but she didn't. <sighs> so Heidi Turner is a two-faced bitch who says she likes me, then tries to stab me in the back. <gasps> right, so we need to know if Heidi Turner is the two-faced bitch who's spreading rumors about Allie being spotted at the abortion clinic. But in oh, order to do that, shit. we need people to think you're a girl. Mm -hmm. Makeover! Uh-oh. Makeover! Oh, God. Oh, dear God. <laughs> the fuck is this? <laughs> oh hell. Now this is a banging tune. What the fuck is this? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, alright, alright, alright. Mmm. Between that and definitely that. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Definitely. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, doesn't look as good as it does there, but uh, sure. Eh. Nope. 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 Mmm. Oh, mate, let's slut it up. Yeah, let's slut it up. Uh, come on, let's slut it up. Sure, why not? Hot with two T's? Oh, dude. No. Dude, yes. Alright, um... Not particularly, but uh, needs must when the devil drives. You're as ready as you'll ever be, I guess. Let's get to the clinic. All right, to the clinic it, it is. <laughs> oh, right, good kid. god! Get inside the abortion clinic and find the records room. Take a picture of all the records from the past week and text them to us. That will help us find out who the two-faced bitch is. I'm sure you can appreciate why none of us can do this. If any of us are mm -hmm. spotted in there, people might think we're sluts like Jessica Rodriguez. <laughs> hey guys. What are you up to? Oh, nothing. Just finding out which of our friends is a two-faced bitch. Cool. We'll see you around. Awesome. Skank. <laughs> All right. Now go in there and get to the records room. Find out if Jesse had an abortion. Well, alrighty then. Um, pff, sure. Anyway, guys, we're probably gonna have to leave. Well, probably gonna have to leave here. We look ridiculous. I mean, honestly, I like you. You don't name call someone behind their back. Then act like you're their best friend. Not like all the other bitches I'm friends with. Well, you know. Uh, okay. Right, guys. Well, we're going to end this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back to the abortion clinic. Which I'm actually really excited about. Wow. Did I just say that? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Damn. Anyway, guys. Till next time.